What's good, Hummus Squad? It's your boy Hummus Ziggy. We back here with another reaction for y'all, and we back on the nerdcore side. And we got now Jono with his UG song "Under My Skin," production by Execute. I would say Execute, but no, Execute Heli. Now, apparently, from this and such, this is like the continuation, I guess. Hold on, he did say it about it on his, hold on, let me just go to his YouTube channel real quick and such, cause he was talking about how this is like the second or so you can say, hold on, go to his community part. So basically, I guess you can say like this is like a part two or so. To the you to the Sukuna song that he dropped from a while back from a while back and such. Cause basically with Ascend, so basically what he says here where Under My Skin drops this weekend, which is right now, as a continuation of of Ascend, and they are two very drastically different songs as they represent two different characters. So basically, basically, with Ascend, it represented how how psychotic, chaotic, and all-out sadistic Sukuna was, right? But with Yuji now, I'm guessing this is gonna represent all the trauma and such that Sukuna has put him through during and afterwards, all the craziness and such. <laughs> AKA that's Shibuya arc and shit. So hey, enough talking and such. We better check this out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on my socials up there. And without further ado, let's get into this. Subtitles by Kai and Tenshi. I feel like I'm losing This little start where it's like the because he did say that this was gonna be like some like pop then Disney and then rock and such like basically anything that you can imagine musically wise and such so I'm listening to it so far I hear a little bit so so far with this start this is more of like the pop sound and such This is such a good little like hold on. I wanna take take a little shot. I wanna get like the good loose. Very good. Right, right here. Right here. <laughs> this was everything you had to see. Basically, 
you can summarize everything Yuji is about to do now with this scene where he's facing down Maito. Saying about, nah, you know what? I've been traumatized so much, you know what? Time to bring out that big dog energy. Time to really show motherfuckers that I'm not to be messed with and such. And since that you coming for me, I'm gonna fuck you up. This was literally how it was. About to fight me. Basically talking about everybody who's who he's lost during this journey and such from Nabora, Nanami, Chupenge, <laughs> all got wiped out in this journey and shit. I feel like the most crazy, the most saddest one was Nanami. Everybody else was equally sad, don't get it twisted. But something about how when Nanami, cause <clears throat> With Nanami, he was always just about following business, right? Don't try to make it be about anything emotional, nothing like that and such, right? To me, this is just how I look at it. And you can correct me in the comments below if you think I'm wrong or not. But Nanami was mostly always about following business, making sure we follow protocol and such. Don't want to make it be too emotional because then and then, I get it whenever you're in a battle. Do not let certain emotions overtake you because one minute you might get wiped the hell out. So I figured, so with Nanami, he went, and in a way he did have some like empathy you can say, right? And he kept on fighting until the end, shout out to Fable's song, The End and Surge, inspired by Nanami. And a hey, basic and basically with Nanami looking at Yuji the last time in sin saying about Yuji, you gotta take over now. And with Fable's song for DN, boy that captivated all of that. So hey, I feel like if you can agree with me down in the comments below if you think whose death was more like traumat whose death was more like heart wrenching and such. Cause I feel like to me it was not me. But you can let me know in the comments below. Do I feel like it's about to go crazy? Mm. Hold on, that that like soft tone where it was just only his voice and such. Hold on, run that back. That's why right here when it's just his own voice. Why do we breathe? And just only the piano and such. Do we pick when losing hope? And then you hear the building up. was waiting for because you know when look this was always my little thing where especially when it returns to in real life where majorically men right 
we always hear I've always heard this saying where grown men or men don't show their emotions out and such to me and look if you agree with me cool if you don't that's fine that's your thing but to me that whole thing about men don't show their emotions completely bullshit straight up with you right completely bullshit and here's my reasons why this is gonna be a little rant so bear with me you need to tell me that if everything that you've went through in your entire life right from all betrayals backstabbing lost of loved ones all that and stuff right now am I to say you should always show your emotions no I'm not saying that at all but to say that men but to say that men don't have any emotions whatsoever nigga I don't believe that one iota bit because if you see somebody who you loved whether it was as a friend brother or the loss of a family member or whatnot if you see that happen you need to tell me you're not gonna show any emotion whatsoever right so when he's saying about how why do we scream why do we cry when there's nothing left inside to me I wouldn't possibly say that because think about it like I said you lost everybody who you've loved on a journey right to where you want to be at, at to where you're at now that makes you think of such but you need to tell me throughout that entire journey you didn't once feel emotional and that could relate to how it is in real life you lost sorry lost many people throughout your journey in in order to build yourself up this build yourself up so you need to tell me throughout each entire journey you don't feel one emotion a bit I, like for me I know I will be but maybe maybe I'm looking at it the wrong way so hey if you watching this video let me know in the comments below and you let me know if I'm per saying it the wrong way and such and be respectable with it because I know some of y'all wants to be this and that in the third you can tell me if I'm wrong and such in the comments below but be respectable with it because if you're not you're about to get mm. but regardless let me know in the comments below why do we breathe just to choke do we pick when losing hope why do we A small little callback to his song Ascension and such a thousand souls lift into extension and such <laughs> What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> the 
the video that's when you know your tools that's when you know the video is too crazy and such because the damn screen hold on what my mouth said nigga what mm -hmm. hold on let me back it up a little bit sorry about that I don't know what happened there but let's continue <laughs> Shout out to Kuro on the video. Hey. All I can say is <laughs> that was definitely a banger of a core a banger of a video and a banger of a song. And such. So hey, I feel like you gotta listen to it like part one and part two is where you get. But for me, it was the, the don't get me started this song is good too don't get it twisted but for me it was just that ascension song the sakuna song ascend bro that song was chaotic it was nigga i swear to god y'all hear me out when i said it even though y'all gonna see my reaction to it like if you haven't go check it out but bro that song was something else crazy and such that nigga shit but either way y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below it's been your boy homo ziggy signing out stay positive keep the vibes up and in that little rant i did earlier you let me know in your comments below what you think with that being said i'm out